Wilmette Public Library District Board of Trustees meeting for Tuesday, May 21st. And we are meeting at 7.32 p.m. in the staff lounge. Agenda, hard copy, as well as the WPL legal, legal information was put on the bulletin board. All staff and president of the Friends agenda and attachments, hard copy. And so it has been notified, the public has been notified. We'd like to begin with Jan doing the uh, secretary certification of membership of the WPL Board of Trustees. Okay. I'll do this. Hi, Jan Barsh. Oh, no. I just picked this up. Okay. You just. Wait. You announced at the moment yeah. who, who they are. Okay. Yeah. In that case. Okay. Okay. So we have. But everybody knows. It's right on that sheet. Okay. The one in front. Got it. No, no, no. Right there. I got it. Right there. Oh, there too. Cool. Okay. Okay. So the trustees are. You're talking about the ones tonight or the. Those, the board. That, that right this is there. the new board. Okay. The new board. The, new board, the, the current. Jan Barsh's current secretary of the Wilmette Public Library District Board of Trustees announces that the Wilmette Public Library District Board of Trustees consists of the following. Jan Barsh's, Joan Fishman, Dan Johnson, Lisa McDonald, Fina Riddle, Ronald Rogers, and Stuart Wolf. And I have certificates for The new people. Thank you. Okay. Yes, and okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You want a picture of this? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We will now have the administration of the Oak of Office by uh, Ms. McNeilan. Will everybody stand? Okay. The, the trustees who were just newly elected, raise your right hand. Stuart, you don't need to. Oh, oh, I elected. Yeah, you thank don't. you. Okay. <laughs> I was confused. I was in my room. Yeah. And I think you all have a piece of blue paper in front of you that's got the oak on it. Mm -hmm. So let's just, just read this together, shall we? Yeah. Okay. 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 You can just yes. sub your name. Right. Okay. Aye. 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 And your name? Lisa Van Fishman. Do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Library Trustee according to the best of my ability. Thank you. And I also have um, forms that by the end of the evening you will all sign and I will sign and then as a notary public I will stand and we keep those as um, your official imprisonment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can we have the roll call? Sure. Thank you. Trustee Riddle. Present. Trustee Johnson. Here. Good. <laughs> Trusty Rogers? Here. Trusty Wolf? Here. Trusty McDonald? Here. Trusty Barshus? Here. Trusty Fishman? Here. Okay. And now, then, we will report for the roll call. For the, I mean, the nominating committee? Oh, for the nominating committee. Yes. Um, the president uh, at the time, Kathleen O'Loughlin, and I met um, for the nominating committee, and we talked about. Um, who would be suited best at different positions uh, in, on the board. And after some discussion, uh, it was decided that the uh, slate for the board offices of president, vice president, treasurer, and secretary recommended by the nominee committee is President Lisa McDonald, Vice President Stuart Wolf, Treasurer Ron Rogers, Secretary Jan Barshes, as recommended by the nominating committee. 
You might want to say who the nominating committee comprised oh, no was comprised of. That who? Who was on the nominating committee. I didn't say that. Okay. No, I said you might want to say it, yeah. Okay. That it, the nominating committee was composed of uh, Kathleen, <laughs> Kathleen O'Laughlin, myself, Jan Varshis, and Dan Johnson. So now it's the election, and so uh, are there any nominations from the floor, or other than what's been presented at the slate? Any nominations from the floor? I can say it three times. Hmm. Any no. nominations from the floor? Okay. Huh? Can you please talk up? Okay. Are there any nominations from the floor? And so I said it two other two t two other times, and so I will speak louder for it. Okay, so can we uh, do a voice vote? Well, first we need a motion. I move oh. that we accept the recommendation of the nominating committee to approve the slate of officers as proposed. I will second. Okay. Roll call. Oh, roll call. So that it's on record. Okay. Trustee right. Riddle? I, I, don't, I, I don't object. So shall I say I approve? Just I. Just, just I or yes. I or yes. Yeah, or yes. Yeah, or yeah. I, yeah, yes. <laughs> okay. So, yes. okay. Um, Trustee Johnson? Yes. Okay. Trustee Rogers? Yes. Trustee Wolf? Aye. Trustee McDonald? Aye. Trustee Barshus? Aye. Trustee Fisher? Aye. Okay. This is the time that we have public, and the motion passed. This is the time that we have public comment. Earlier we were graced with three of uh, Trustee Biddle's children and her husband, and so they've since departed, so we want to welcome them. In. Thank you. Thank you. Does anyone else in the public have any comments that they would like to say? Speak. Okay, moving on. Uh, there are no presentations, so I would like a motion that the minutes from the April 16th, 2019 meeting be approved. So moved. Second. Who seconded? I did. Thank you. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Okay. Next, we flip to behind tab number ten. No, tab number five. Okay. Is the uh, financial reports, Trustee Rogers? Okay, um, during the month of April, uh, we received $94,000 in general fund real estate taxes, um, 11000 in replacement taxes, uh, eighteen five in general fund interest, and $4,845 in miscellaneous income. We are just below... 80% of expenses, the 10 month rate would be 83, so we are on budget. There's nothing extraordinary in the expenses for the current period, um, but we do have, uh, you received in the uh, materials that were available for review for this meeting, the uh, expenses, um, uh, checks, and checks that uh, were proposed for um, the current. Uh, period, uh, which is for April. Uh, I move approval of the bills and salaries for the month of April. I'll second it. Roll call. Voice for it. Okay. Is there a uh, time for discussion on that, Trustee Rogers? Uh, this would be the time if there's the a time. question. Thank you. So um, I wanted to ask about several of the expenses that were under the building maintenance categories. Uh, Director Austin had circulated to the board, which I imagine will be public at some point, but uh, my question is about whether some of these building maintenance expenditures could be classified as part of our special reserve fund. Uh, he sent over a lot of good information, which I haven't had a chance to digest, but I did want to ask about sort of the nature of some of these bigger 
building maintenance contract. So what what they are, I think one was for Hill. Uh, and so if you could very briefly just sort of touch upon what what are what these building maintenance expenses uh, actually are, uh, I would appreciate it without getting too deep into it. Just we'll have a chance to talk about it more, I think, in the finance committee and that's, dig into some of this some more. That's on page three of 21 under the check detail under tab five. Thank you, Trustee Johnson. Were there specific um, bills in the check detail that you would like me to uh, go over? A couple of them were, I think it was called Hill Maintenance. Hill Mechanical. Uh, Hill Mechanical yeah. Services. Uh, Thank you. Then there was like an elevator uh, service contract. Correct. Like off the elevator. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, Kali Elevator is our elevator contractor. Um, they perform the uh, the maintenance and inspections on our elevator uh, conveyances. Um, we have an annual agreement with them, and they perform all of the uh, the maintenance on, on that equipment. Um, Hill is um, similarly our maintenance contractor for all of our HVAC equipment. Um, so that's what those expenses relate to. Got it. One more, uh, if you could. Uh, there was something for, I think, a cooperative computer equipment or something for mm -hmm. 9000 or so. It looked like we were buying computers. Is that what it was for? Uh, cooperative Computer Services, also known as CCS, is the integrated library system or circulation and cataloging portal, the patron database for all of the library's materials. Um, that's the, the software that the library is in partnership with uh, 26 other libraries. Um, that's how we provide all of our circulation to our to the public and catalog our materials. Gotcha. Great. Thank you very much. Okay. Were there any other questions? Is that part of, uh, I may be getting too deep in the weeds, is that part of Rails or is that just our own sort of independent consortium or Rails on them? Um, Rails is um, one of three library systems in the state of Illinois. Rails represents northern Illinois. Uh, the Illinois Heartland system is the southern portion, and Chicago Public is the other system. Um, uh, Wilmette is part of uh, the Rails system, and CCS is um, primarily comprised of Rails member libraries, but they're not affiliated. I see. Got it. Uh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Motions on the floor. It's been moved and seconded. Mm -hmm. Can we have a roll call? Mm -hmm. oh. Trustee Riddle. Aye. Okay. <laughs> Trustee Rogers. Aye. Trustee Wolf. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee Barshes. Aye. Trustee Fishman. Aye. And don't forget Dan. Oh, and yeah. Trustee Johnson. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Aye. Thank you. We now have several action items, and we will begin the first with resolution number 2018-19-199, and Trustee Johnson will read the resolution honoring Trustee Kathleen O'Loughlin. If you're asking me to read something, I'm, I can't Oh, I'm do sorry, it. Trustee Rogers. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a resolution honoring Kathleen M. O'Loughlin. Whereas Kathleen O'Loughlin was elected to the Wilmette Public Library Board of Trustees in April 1999 and has ably served for 20 years, and whereas Kathleen's leadership capabilities have been obvious during her service as board president, board vice president, board secretary, and board treasurer, and whereas Kathleen's interest in the library has been evidenced in numerous areas, including her participation on various board committees, such as the Finance, Facilities and Equipment, and Fundraising Committees, as well as serving as an ex officio member of all board committees during her tenure as board president. And whereas Kathleen has invariably offered clear and astute suggestions for divining, defining and resolving many issues that have been presented before the board, and whereas Kathleen's wit and good humor have been regularly evidenced and appreciated by her fellow board members, and whereas the board deeply appreciates Kathleen's dedicated efforts and loyal service as a board member and in a passionate and effective voice supporting the essential role of the public library in a democratic society. It is therefore resolved that for the reasons enumerated and for many additional qualities too numerous to recount, Kathleen will be exceedingly missed, and further resolved 
that the President of the Board is authorized to present Resolution Number 2018-19-199 to Kathleen M. O'Loughlin. Here, here. Is there a motion that we accept? I'm, oh, go ahead. No, you go, you're ready. Go I'm ahead. over approval. <laughs> I'll okay. second it. Okay. <laughs> I think we can just do all in favor. All in favor. Aye. 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 And can we give her a hand? Yes, I yes. said yes. Oh, okay. No, I, yeah. And we can give a hand clap after we hear the next one. Okay. We really appreciate their service and we'll miss them. But welcome new. Okay. Trustee Wolf will now read resolution number 2018 19 200 honoring Trustee Virginia George. Whereas Virginia Ginny George was elected to the Wilmette Public Library Board of Trustees in 2011, and whereas Ginny served as board vice president from 2013 to 2015, and whereas Ginny's interest in the library has been evidenced by her participation on various board committees, such as the Facilities and Equipment Committee and the Communications Committee, and whereas Ginny has regularly offered thoughtful suggestions regarding a variety of topics that have been addressed by the board,